And that breaks my heart knowing that, that I was doing all this stuff and I was making all this content while there was people that were still really hurt by what I made. That's David Dobrik tearing up, posting a second apology video in the wake of sexual misconduct allegations surrounding the vlog squad. I think with this situation, there's a lot I can look at and there's a lot I can learn from, but there's a lot of mistakes that I made and I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for everybody I've let down. I'm sorry to my family and I'm sorry to my friends that I've embarrassed and that this won't happen again. Last week, Dobrik posted a video apologizing to Joseph Seth Francois following his allegation of sexual misconduct in a 2017 prank video. I wanted to come out and say something to clear my own conscience from the things that I was doing and I was allowing to happen within David's content. Francois says he was tricked into kissing Jason Nash. This is also David's content and he's the one that's coming up with the ideas and he's the one that has the power and is asking people to participate in certain things and there is a lot of pressure. You know, when you're in the room and you're the only person of your skin color or your culture and you're trying to represent in the right way and you're constantly being pressured to do things that you might know are wrong and you are uncomfortable with. The Seth situation, I'm sorry to Seth because I, like I said, I, I would just want to make videos where everybody in it, you know, whether you're participating or watching is enjoying and having a good time. And I missed the mark with that one. And I'm really sorry. I, I truly, truly am. Dobrik also said in the video that he's no longer friends with Dom Zeglitis, AKA Dirty Dom, and doesn't stand for any misconduct after a woman came forward alleging Zeglitis sexually assaulted her when she came to the vlog squad's home to film a video in 2018. ET has reached out to Zeglitis for comment. The main reason I'm making this video is to hold accountability for my actions and you know, not only not only apologize to, you know, people that I worked with that I may have disrespected, but also to other people that were affected by my actions. I've been really disappointed by some of my friends, and for that reason, I've separated from a lot of them. Following the allegations against the blog squad, several brands have come forward saying they're dropping their partnerships with Dobrik. And late Monday night, Dobrik posted a second video admitting his first apology video missed the mark. I've put myself in a lot of situations where I've needed to apologize for my past actions, and I've never done this correctly, and I've never done this respectfully, and my last video is a testament to that. I, I, I don't want to defend that video. I don't want to delete that video. Dobrik said that the biggest mistake he made was never apologizing to the women who claim Zeglitis sexually assaulted them. But what I didn't do is I didn't go back to any of these women and apologize. I, I kind of moved on and I learned from it and I grew from it, but I didn't address the situation with these women. I'm not talking publicly, I'm saying even privately. I didn't reach out to any of these people and that breaks my heart knowing that, that I was doing all this stuff and I was making all this content while there was people that were still really hurt by what I made. And while the content creator acknowledged the many fans coming forward in his defense, he said he doesn't want the support. He wants to course correct. It was cowardly of me to say in my last apology that I missed the mark um, because it's gross and I'm sorry. A lot of people reached out to me saying cancel culture is bullshit and you need to fight back and you need to call people out and I don't agree with how this should be taken at all. And I think when there is a crisis, there's a serious opportunity to correct yourself to learn and improve and to make sure those mistakes don't happen again. And that's why it is so important to hold yourself accountable. Now Dobrik says he's going to take a little time off to reflect, grow, and figure out how to do better. I'm gonna take a short break from all the social media stuff because I realize there's a serious lack of infrastructure when I make any kind of content. And I wanna be able to have a place of checks and balances. I wanna have HR and I wanna be able um, to have people communicate discomfort in a way that's that's comfortable to them and where, where they don't feel like their emotions or what they're doing or, or how they're acting is compromised. 